Um, welcome everybody. Uh, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, evening. Miss. Mr. Hello, hello, sir. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. Okay. Uh, well, we are going to start with this class because it's eight o'clock. And we're going to be talking uh, during this class about orders of modifiers. Uh, but before we start with the class, I would like to know if you have any question about any of the exercises that you have in the platform. If you have any question, please let me know right now. Everything is okay? No. Yeah, for me it's okay. Okay. Okay, very good. So, um, and what about the progress that you have in a platform? Do you have at least the 60% of the exercises? Do you complete all the exercises? You haven't finished section three? Let me know. Mr. Morales, do you finish section three? Uh, actually, I, I finished uh, the whole platform. I have okay, 90%. Okay, very good, excellent. That that's so good. That's so good. Uh, Miss Molina, what about you? Yes, teacher. I'm working in a platform, and I finish only. I have a problem with the final exam mm -hmm. and two exercise that's a mistake. Only that, but okay, the whole, the whole the platform I working up. Okay, very good. Uh, if you want, we can solve those problems right now because okay. uh, I, I think this is the right moment in order to solve those things. Uh, can you okay, tell me what are those the exercises? The final exam, the letter B, the exercise three and four, the first part of the exercise. Okay, let me go there. Final test. Let's see. You you said a uh, exercise B. Letter B, the first part of the exercise, the number three and number four. Okay, very good. I, I got it. I got it. Uh, what it says, my hometown is a popular tourist destination. My hometown gets pro in summer. Okay, what's the problem that you've that you uh, found there? I don't know which is the problem because I try to different uh, sentences and it's wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> the, for me, is uh, I think that my hometown gets crowded in summer, uh, that my homework, hometown is a popular tourist destination. But it's uh, wrong. Okay, okay. Miss, in this case, um, you are missing the um, the relative clause. And mm -hmm. do you remember that we we're discussing about this, about the relative clause? Yes, teacher. I tried to put in that in which and I never uh, that which is the problem because uh, okay. in this part, sorry, uh, is my hometown gets crowded in summer. That yes, that, that's home... correct, but you are missing, you are missing a word, Miss. Uh, which, <laughs> you remember that when we use like uh, uh, relative clauses, we have to use which, or yes. uh, in, in this case, which because of the sentence, but. There are some other words like, that we have to use, like uh, that, like uh, who, okay? Okay. Okay. In this case, is my hometown gets grower in summer. No, which? My hometown which gets crowed in the summer. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me see. I'm trying. Get 
In summer. No, my hometown, which gets pro in the summer, is a, okay. a popular tourist destination. Remember, uh, something that you have to keep in mind is that you have to use the commas. Uh, yes. Okay, my hometown, comma, which gets pro in the summer, comma, is a popular tourist destination, period. Okay. Okay. Is a popular tourist destination. And period at the end. Yes, we must use a period at the end. Okay. You see? I don't know. Also, it's grown. It's run. It yes. could be like uh, a letter, maybe double space. I'm going to uh, um, write the the answer there in the in, in, the, in the chat. Yes, in the, okay. in the chat box. Okay. Thank you. I will put it there because it's the same the same answer that we're sharing. Okay, there you have my hometown, which gets pro in the summer, is a popular tourist destination. Okay. Very good. Um, any other question? Do you have any other? In doubt? the number four is no. the same. The same is happening. Yes. Uh, Istanbul has great shopping. Istanbul is one of the uh, Grand Bazaar. Uh, let me see. Okay, uh, just Mr. Jorge, I I'm going to help you too, but we're going to finish this first, okay? Okay, Miss. Uh, okay. What is the possible answer that you have in mind in mm. the exercise number four? I don't know. It's confused because I, in my case, I think that is Istanbul is the home of the Grand Bazaar, uh, which is which has great great shopping. Uh, okay, let, let, we're going to start with this. Do you think this is a um, um, definite, definite uh, relative clause, or you think that is a known a known definite relative clause? What do you think about it? I think this? it's defining cla relative clause. De definitely. I mean, yes, uh, yes right. Yes. yes. I mean, yes. define relative clause. Yeah. Um, well, let me tell you that that's no uh, the that's not the correct answer. In this case, we're okay. going to use a known defined relative clause. Okay. Excuse me. Can you tell me what number of exercise are you? Revising. Ah, we are revising exercise number. Oh, let me let me tell you the complete um, number of this. Okay, we are checking the final test, Miss Mira. Um, the final test, a uh, letter B, letter B. Then in the part one. The exercise number four. Do 
You get it? Yes, you can continue. Okay, very good. So in this case, it's a non-defining relative clause. Uh, so something is happening here, Miss uh, Molina, because we're using Istanbul in one of the sentence and in the other sentence we're using Istanbul. Uh, if you notice there, the first sentence has uh, a meaning by, by its own. Um, that's mean that the next one, the next sentence, is just an extra information, okay? Um, okay. We're going to, sorry, what do you say? Okay, teacher. Okay, so that's mean that we're going to start a sentence saying like Istanbul, okay? okay. With the hat, gray shopping, comma, is the home of the Grand Bazaar. That's one of the possible uh, answers that we have because the other one could be like Istanbul, which is the home of the Grand Bazaar, has great shopping. Okay, Th those are the the uh, possible answers. Try to solve it right now and let me know if it works or not. Okay. Please wait in a in a chat. Okay, I, I, I'm going to check it in the chat. Well, thank you, teacher, it's okay. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, well, Mr. Let me see, Mr. 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 Jorge. Okay. Um, in the exercise number six, you refer to the same uh, letter. Uh, that's mean B. In section B, final test. No teacher. Is the section three? Section three, okay. What exercise? Uh, number six. Three point six. Okay. Let yes. me check it. Section three. But in the section uh, 3.6, we have uh, we have the objective. No, That's no, uh, 3.2. Not ah, 3.2. Okay, 3.2. Let me see. Now let's check 3.2 exercise number six. Uh, Sao Paulo, which is the biggest city in Brazil. It's also one of the world's most popular cities. Ah, okay. In this case, uh, sir, what we have to do here is to identify where um, the commas, if, if those are needed, uh, has to be placed. If not, uh, you have just to rewrite the, the sentence. And but I think that in this case we are using a, a defining relative clause. Okay, we're we're using that. So, Mister, uh, the correct answer uh, that we have for it is Sao Paulo, which is the biggest city in Brazil. Comma. Uh, it's also one of the world's most popular cities. Uh, Pablo, comma, which is the biggest city in Brazil, comma, is also one of the world's most popular city. Okay, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, very good. So, um, well, 
Do you have any other question? If not, we're going to continue with the class that we have to develop uh, tonight. Any other question? No? Okay, very good. So uh, yesterday we were discussing about the um, orders of modifier. Do you remember that? I remember that I left a, a homework about this. Yes, do you remember that? Do you remember uh, what we were discussing yesterday about the orders of modifiers? Teacher, the modifiers yes. are word phrases or clauses that add description to the sentence. Okay. Yes, those are words that describe it uh, could be the sentence or could be the noun in this case. Okay, what else? What else do you, do you phone? I told you to uh, try to search information about this topic. The type of modifier is adjectives and adverbs using that. Okay, very good. Well, I'm going to put you uh, the video just the, the, the part where, where we have the modifiers. Just give me a second here and here. I'll stop this and I'm going to share this. Can you, can you uh, see my screen? Yes. Okay. Yes, I see it. Yes, I can. Yes, okay, very good. Uh, well, in this case, we have this order. And we were discussing yesterday when we had to use the modifiers, and we have a specific order. In this case, the determiner um, is the first one. The opinion is the next one, then size, age, shape, color, origin, material, and purpose. That's what uh, we have to that we have to uh, include with all these modifiers. A determiner, okay, what do you remember about this? What do you remember about this? What is the use of the determiner? I remember uh, you told a determiner helps you to know if, if it's one or more than one uh, yes. thing. Uh, also, if it's near or far. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, that's all I remember. Okay, very good. And also if the, the, the determinant helps to identify if something is definite or indefinite. That's mean if we know the amount of something or not. Okay, so um, we're discussing yesterday about some of the examples when we use a, the, uh, this, that, this, and those. That's, that's uh, some of the determiners that we have. Um, and we, we had some uh, examples there, like a car, an apple, the book, the flowers, this man, that woman, these computers, those teachers. Those are some examples of a uh, determiner using a uh, determiner and also the noun. Then we have the opinion. Okay, uh, an opinion uh, is a word that explain, okay, that explain what are you thinking about something? Okay, um, what do you think about in a specific uh, object, about in a specific situation? And in this case, it's, uh, 
in, in this case, you are expressing your own opinion. For instance, if you see something that is beautiful, okay, you are going to express like this a beautiful uh, pencil, for instance. This, this is just gonna, this is gonna be just an example. This beautiful pencil. Okay, for you, it's beautiful, okay? But for someone else, maybe, a, maybe like um, different, like um, ugly or something like that, like horrible uh, or disgusting, okay? That, that's uh, some, some of the opinions that we have uh, as an example. Um, and the opinion is going to tell to tell someone else or other people what are you thinking about something okay that's what is called opinion because it's your perspective uh, about something okay is it clear yeah it's clear yes okay can you give me other examples of adjectives of opinion or like opinion adjectives. Can you give me some examples of it? Nice. Nice. Easy. Sorry, what do you say? Terrific. E easy. Oh, terrific. Okay. Very good. What else? Any other example of it? Pretty. Awesome. Okay, pretty. Very good, excellent. So those are adjectives that we can use as an opinion about something. Very good. Then we have the size, the size or the size adjectives. In this case, um, this kind of adjectives is going to tell us how big or as small is something, okay? Um, we can use words like large, teeny, enormous, little. Um, those, those are just examples of adjectives that uh, express a size. First of all, we have the determiner, second, the opinion, and then the size, okay? Can you think some other examples of size? Huge. Huge, Short. very good. What short, else? long. Short, long, very good. Those are good examples of it. Then we have the age. In the case of the age or the age adjectives, um, it's uh, easy to identify because in this case, um, this tell us, this adjective tell us how young or old something or someone is. Okay. Um, in this case, we have like words like uh, ancient, new, don't, old. Do you have any other one that you want to add? Elder. Elder, very good. That's a good one. What else? Teenager. Teenager, okay. Very good. Younger. Younger. Uh, yes, we have young here too. Very good. Excellent. So um, in this case, we are going to use the age. Remember first, second, third, and fourth. Then we're going to uh, use the shape or a shape adjective. This is try uh, as you know, the shape of something. If something is square, if something is round, flat, rectangular, um, the, I don't know, what else? Circular. See, okay, very good. Circulars. And, and what well, we, we are going to use the shaped adjectives. And, and if you type on the internet and write like shaped adjectives, you're going to find a list of all the shaped adjectives that we have in English. The same is going to happen with size adjectives, like age adjectives. It, it, you can find it that way. Um, then we have the color adjective. The color adjective, uh, well, in this case, it <laughs> describes the color of something. Something is red, something is blue, pink, uh, reddish, gray. So 
that that's the purpose of this of this um, of this adjective. Okay. Then we're going to use the origin. In the case of the origin adjectives, describe where something's come from. In this case, we can use words like uh, French, Leonard, American, okay, uh, Mars, Greek. That's the pen of the origin of, of the object that we are referring to. Um, then we're going to use the material. The material uh, describe the, the element that something was built. Like for instance, could be like a wooden, metal, cotton, paper. Um, so those are just some, some of the examples of that. That doesn't mean that we have just four. We have more of, of it. But here we have just those four examples. Can you think uh, about any other examples of material? Uh, plastic. A plastic. Organic. Organic. Very good. Glass. Glass. Very good. Good example of it. Um, well, and then we're going to use the purpose adjective. In the case of the purpose adjectives, describe uh, what something is used uh, for. Okay, if that object is for uh, any specific uh, situation or, or context, if you want to see in that way. Uh, for instance, you can have like a bag, and in, in you can add the adjectives to that bag, like an, a sleeping bag. Okay, we're going to use like an a sleeping bag. If you notice, we're using the determiner and also the purpose of the thing that we are referring to, uh, the purpose. Um, in this case, in this specific thing, when we uh, are referring to the purpose of something, that means that the adjectives often end with an ing form. The, these kind of adjectives, like uh, we see, like as uh, we can see in these examples, like sleeping, like uh, roasting. Can you think any other example of it? Boxing. Okay, very good. That's a good example. What else? Dancing. Very good. What else? Mm -hmm. Running shoes. Running shoes, that's a good one. Yes. So uh, uh, in this case, most of the, the this kind of adjectives ends in ing form. That's what it is. Um, well, that's not mean that we're going to use all these adjectives in just a, a, a specific uh, noun. We're going to be talking about noun right now because all these, all these adjectives, like the determiner opinion, can be said in different ways. We can use, for instance, just the determiner and the purpose. Or we can use the determiner, an opinion, a, a color, a, and the purpose. Okay? A, and all those things are, are, um, are followed by a noun. So, the principal thing here, it's going to be the noun, because uh, this is what um, this is the word that is receiving all the descriptions that we are uh, referring to. Um, in this case, in in this type of modifiers, why? Because these modifiers uh, modifies the noun. If I say, uh, for instance, car, that's a noun, a common noun. Okay, if I want to modify that word, I can say, for instance, the red car. I'm using the, the determiner and also I'm using the color. Okay, uh, but 
No, so I can add another another adjective such as uh, the beautiful red car. If you notice, we are following the structure. Uh, or also, uh, I can use sentences like, I mean sentences, uh, words, um, adjectives, I mean, sorry, adjectives such as they, okay, um, old, the old, or I mean, the, the beautiful old red car. So in, this, in that way, we are constructing like um, a specific noun phrase using these kind of adjectives. Uh, all those adjectives are the, uh, we're going to use it at the beginning of um, this phrase. And what's going to be at the end, the noun, because it's the word that we are modifying. Okay, is it clear what I'm saying? Yes, it is. Yes, it's clear. Okay, what we're going yes. to do, okay, what we're going to do right now is to create um, a noun phrase, a noun phrase using all these adjectives. We're going to, um, all, uh, we're going to use all of them in, in, um, in the same um, noun phrase, okay? Can you do it? Yes. No. It would be to put it in order to use all or of them. just to? No. One sentence no. with all of them. A noun phrase. No, you're going to use all the adjectives in a noun phrase. That means you you are going to use the determiner, opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, purpose with the noun. Can you do it? Think about, think about a noun phrase. Using, of course, this, uh, this structure. Well, I'll try. Okay, because let's try. Let's try. That's, that's what we're going to do. But it, 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 the, the noun phrase needs to uh, make sense in order to include in a sentence, but, but we're going to see that later. The first thing that we have to do is, is just set up a noun phrase with all these adjectives. You're going to have five minutes. That's start right now. When you finish, please send it to the <clears throat> to the chat box of this video conference.
um, the time is over. And I'm going to ask you, um, well, any volunteer that can <clears throat> sorry, read his or her sentence. There's someone here that can. I, I don't know if, if I understood, but I didn't write a, a full sentence. I just wrote yes uh, noun clause yes just a noun phrase that that's what i was asking that's what i asked for this exercise just a noun phrase now the sentence well i can't read Mister. lines tell me uh may i yes uh okay. sorry miss mira give me just a second Let, let's see don't worry go ahead okay uh i think that i have that may big mistake but <laughs> Uh, it goes like this. Uh, the airplane is amazing because it's a big and new and cylinder and it's painted as a dark black color and was made in the El Salvador with a different metal just to flying. And uh, that's it. Okay, Mr. Mr. Morales, in this case, you yep. are using a sentence and no a noun phrase. Um, a noun oh, phrase okay. is composed, yes, a noun phrase is composed like. Um, with different adjectives describing the noun. Um, let, let's let's see some of these examples and, and then uh, you're going to notice how this has to be structured. Okay, okay. great. Ms. Mira, go ahead. Well, uh, for me, it was very difficult to to make uh, match the- Match all the, the shape. adjectives, I know, I know. Okay, because of the, the shape, for example. Uh, I wrote, for example, um, the awful, huge, old, round, black American metal washing bucket. Oh, uh, the okay. other one I wrote is a cute pair of tiny new oval pink French fabric dancing shoes. Okay, okay. Yes. It's, I, it's... I wrote two, two of them. Okay, in the first one, the awful, huge, all round, the uh, black American metal washing bucket. Yes. Okay, that one is correct. Use all the, the, the elements that correspond um, as an adjective describing the bucket. The noun here is the bucket, okay? Yes. Um, let me see the other one, a cute pair. Mm -hmm. Okay, a cute pair of tiny new oval pink French fabric dancing shoes. Mm, I, I'm, I have doubts of pair of. Well, that, that's the doubt I have also, but how, how, when you refer to shoes, always we use the word pair because I, yes. I think. I but think I that didn't we, know what to but put in, in the case of in the case of this noun phrase, I think that we have to omit the the word pair of, and instead we can use a cute, tiny, uh, new oval pink French fabric dancing shoes. Okay. okay. Instead of pair of, because the pair of is not an adjective. Uh, it's not well. Uh, it's not uh, making sense in that noun phrase. Teacher, yeah, okay. Tell me, sir. Uh, and uh, what if if we uh, put the pair of shoes at the end? Yeah, that, uh, that could be as, one as of the, 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 the noun. That, uh, that's the option I was considering now after your your suggestions. Yes, uh, like so, pair yes. of shoes. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it's okay. possible in a way. Uh, I, I wasn't sure, but I wrote it because I wanted your feedback. No, okay, very good, excellent. But you did an amazing work. You did an amazing work because you are using all the uh, adjectives that, that I was asking for this okay. uh, exercise. Let me see, Thank you. anyone else? Any other teacher? I, can, I want to participate. Okay, uh, Mr. You're gonna be first and then uh, you miss, okay? Okay. 
Uh, but the uh, latest is this one. I don't, okay, if you I want, don't if you want to, if you, if you want that uh, she can re participate first, it's okay because um, you, you, uh, according to what I uh, listen, you uh, told me first, but okay. So, Miss, okay. Miss, are you there? Miss, hello. Vanessa. Okay, let's continue with me. Okay. So, okay. go ahead. This car is easy to drive because it is a small and new style, basically rectangular. The color is black and is, and is making in Japan for recycled material. Also, it's a case experience to drive my car. Okay, Mr. Mendoza. In this case, uh, we're using adjectives, of course, but we need to use it like uh, following the noun. Um, for instance, you, you're describing in the whole sentence how the car is, okay? But you can use all those adjectives without, uh, without setting a, a, a complete sentence with it. Um, I don't know if you can see the examples of Miss, uh, Miss Mira. She's using just the adjectives. Like for instance, you can say uh, this, uh, well, what else? What uh, any other adjective? Well, I'm going. I'm going to use. I'm going to. I mean, use your sentence in the whiteboard. Give me a second. Give me a second. Sorry. Here, just to give you an example of how, of how we have to do this. Okay. Can you see the whiteboard? Yes. 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 Yes, teacher. Okay. Very good. Um. The first thing that we have to identify is the noun. In this case, is the car. We are going to set it here. Uh, let me see here. The car. Okay, car. That's gonna be the noun that we're going to use. Um, according to uh, the order of the modifiers, what do we have to use first? Okay, I'm going to uh, maybe I'm going to easy to drive. Seminar. Easy. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Sorry, what do you say? The determiner is this. This. Yes, this, this. We're going to use this because this is the determiner. This. What else? Can you identify the following? Then it's um, supposed. Then suppose that we're going to use uh, an opinion. Easy to drive. Easy, this, okay. Easy, that's an opinion. Easy. Mm, let's see, yeah, I'm, sure. I'm just in, listening. In, 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 that case, in that case, could we use uh, easy to drive as an adjective? Easy to drive now. We we have to look for a different adjectives in, in, in case of using easy. Oh, okay. What could be um, an adjective referring to easy to drive? Can you think of, of one of those? I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Can you tell me one adjective that refers to easy to drive? I don't know. Maybe it could be comfortable or. Okay, I have one. Instead of saying easy to drive, we can use the adjectives like manageable. Instead of easy, like this. Let me erase this. I'm going to use. 
Okay, this. Manageable, uh, maybe I manage. Okay, in that way. Okay, manageable. The, the, I'm, I'm substituting the, the part that it says easy to drive for the additive manageable. Okay, what is the next word that we are going to use? Small. 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 What else? New. 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 Okay, very good. New. What else? Yes, he, he's using new style. We can use uh, modern instead of new style. Style. Um, Be because he's using new style. New style. Oh, yes. In this case, we can use a style like uh, adjective. So we have to identify where to set it. Oh my God. You could say new styled. New style. Okay. We're going to do it that way. Style. Okay. The next one. Rectangular. Rectangular. Okay. Teacher, is, is new style or new styled with D at the end? Style, uh, yeah. Yes, that in that way it must, we must use the uh, um, style with, with D at the end. Give me a second. Here. Oh. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, I'm 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 not sure because I I was. It's uh, the thing is the thing is sir the thing is sir that in, in when we use style it, that's mean uh, that we have to look for an adjective. And in the case of this kind of um, this kind of work, we have to um, use with it with um, well in this case the at the end in order to um, this work can work as an adjective in, in, in the noun phrase. I don't know if, if you can understand that. Uh, yeah, like yes, yes. My, my my doubt is because I write it in Translate, and Google Translate suggests me to use new style car without the D. It's because it's because a style is an adjective. Ah, okay. It is taking just that part. Yes. Okay, okay. what else? Black. The color. The color. The word yes. rectangular is missing some letters. Oh, sorry. Rectangular. Okay. What else? Black. 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 Very good. Then Japanese. Japanese. Okay, very good. Japanese. It's double E, right? Okay. Yeah. 
Metal. Recycled metal. Metal. Well, Iron it, brand. It, it doesn't say that it's from metal. It is. It says recycled material. Ah, yes, that, that's right. In this case, we can use recycled material card because me, it works as, as, as an adjective and now an idea. Okay, Japanese, recycle. Oh. Okay. Oh my God. Uh, I can delete it. Ah, okay. No. Uh, Recipient material. I had some problems Recycle. with it. Recycle, yes, in that way. That's the correct way to write. Recycle, okay. Recycle, material. Material. Material, material, car, car. I'm using two double, double car here. Um, I'm gonna do this, this, I mean this. This, for example. That's here. Okay, this way, sir. This is gonna be the right way in order to use the adjectives with uh, the noun car. Uh, why? Because in this case, we're using the noun phrase. All this, this is not a sentence. All this is called noun phrase, okay? Not a sentence. This manageable, small, new style, rectangular, black Japanese recycled material car. Okay, all these uh, are words as um, um, adjectives that modify the noun card. That's the way to do it. Is it clear, sir, how we have to do it? Mister? Yes, yes, yes teacher. thank you. Okay, okay, very good. So, um, well, let me see the time. Oh, so the time is over, guys. Uh, tomorrow we are going to finish this because it's a little bit extensive uh, because we have to adapt also this noun phrase in sentences. And that's what we're going to do tomorrow. How to adapt noun phrase using adjectives in sentences. Um, well, do you have any question for me right now? Yes, teacher. Uh, when do we have to finish the final, to complete the final test? So you decide. In that way, you decide because um, the, the, the the principal, well, I don't know if it's the principal, well, the, the, the staff of English Corporativo told me that uh, you decide when you want to finish all the exercise in the platform. That's mean that if you want to finish all the exercise tomorrow, it's gonna be okay. Uh, but you're gonna be attending the, um, the video conferences um, because these video conferences are part of this uh, of this course, that, that's the reason. So I, I'm not giving you a specific date because depends of your time. If you want to do it while we are developing all the all these um, topics of the platform, it's okay. But I recommend you or that you can um, you can complete all the exercises in your free time if you have uh, some of, of it uh, in order to get the, the, the score that is needed for um, getting the, the diploma. And what day does uh, the course is scheduled to finish? Oh, the, the course, uh, yes, thank you, thank you, Miss. So you're going to develop all these exercises uh, before, um, let me see. 
Just give me a second. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna see my the information that I have here. Uh, okay. Okay, this course is going to finish on August seventeen. So be before that date, you need at least the eighty percent of all the exercises in the platform. Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, it's sure. clear. thank you. Okay, very good. So uh, you can develop. Ah, also they told me that we are going to have like a break, but they told me to to let you know that you, you can, um, if you want, okay, you can work on the exercises during this break. It's gonna be a break of video conferences, but the, the platform is going to be online. So if you want to advance in the exercises that we have there, you can do it. Okay, in this in this week, in this this the next week we won't have video conferences, um, so you can work on it. Well, guys, um, that's been all for tonight. I will see you uh, tomorrow, and uh, please connect on time at eight o'clock. Uh, see you. Blessing for all of you, and bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.